Alright guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install how to install the SkyNote ROM on your AT&T Galaxy Note 2. Now, the main feature about this ROM is that it comes with tons of add-ons. So, what you're going to want to do is go to goo.im, or I'll put, I'll put a link in the description for the thread. So just go to that, but if you wanted to, you can, go, you can use the Goo Manager app like I'm going to. Go to Browse All Files, go to Devs. And search for S E. Now, okay, or not? I guess just do it the hard way. Nah, sorry. Let's go down. His name would have to start with an S, so it's like way at the bottom. But um, let's see. I know it's Sean something. Let's see. Here we go. Sean screams. So you see right there, Sean screams. You're gonna want to go to that one, and in here you will see the files. What you're gonna want to go to is well, if you have these other devices, you'll go to that, of course. But the Note 2 AT&T, which I didn't click the right one, but Note 2 AT&T, and you are gonna get this list of well everything. What you're going to want to do first before you start getting the add-ons and everything else is go to the base, which you're going to want to download the AT&T SkyNote 8. Now if you're flashing this on T-Mobile, you want to get the one with no modem. All right. Then you're going to want to go to updates and you're going to want to get the 8.2 update. You know, you can get 8.1 if you wanted to, but since 8.2 is that was the point, right? Now, here is just everything else that you can get. So I guess I'll start with the add-ons and extras, which there was some on the site. So if just go to goo.im. I'll leave a link below for you so you can look at it on your browser. But see, like the links don't show up on the actual app, but trust me, they are there. Now for clock monsters like Center, Gray, Blue, for the battery, you can get like the Honeycomb. You can get the Circle Mod. For if we keep going down for notification panel transparency, you can have it to where it's totally transparent. And also in the flashable bloat, I just got S voice out of that because I really like that feature. I mean, if I'm going to use, you know, that ROM, I might as well use it, right? So I'm going to go to my external SD card. And holy crap, that's bright. All right, sorry, I had to fix the ISO. That was like killing bright. So what I did was I just created a new SkyNote folder, which if I zoom in a little bit for you guys, you see that I put everything in here. So I have a background, that's my little kitty. So you see I have the, this blue AOSP, you know, uh, messaging app, sorry. And I have the, you know, custom battery mods, I got my status bar mods, I got the actual ROM, the center clock. I got the center color like blue and gray because if, if I want to go back to blue, I'll just flash that. And I have my S voice and like everything else. So I just created a new folder because you see there is a lot. But what you're going to want to do is back up everything with titanium backup. Now if you don't have titanium backup, I highly recommend you get this app. It is worth every penny. I got the Pro. It's only like $7. Trust me. It's, it's worth it. You will want to get it. But what you're going to want to do is reboot into recovery. Actually, you want to make sure you have the latest recovery. So what you're going to want to do is go back. Probably should have said this first, you know. Nah. All right. And since we were browsing in there, we are going to want to go to menu, install open script recovery. Yes. And this is a T0, T0 LTE. So we're going to hit yes. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe I was already on this recovery, but I'm not sure because I heard there was an update. And also, you, you want to make sure you have more than 20% battery. So, shouldn't take too long over 4G LTE. It's downloading. It's... Manager is extremely slow. All right, so we're just going to use the recovery that we have. Not ah, right. So we're going to reboot into recovery. Hit OK. And and <laughs> Galaxy Note 2. 
I'm not sure if I put twerp or clockwork mod on here. Okay, twerp. So I recommend using twerp for this ROM because you can add multiple zips to the install queue, so it just makes it a lot easier. But we're gonna go to backup because I want to back up my ROM. Use external SD card. I'm gonna enable compression. Set backup name. Carbon version 1.4. Go. And I'm gonna back up. I'm not gonna back up those two. And I'm going to swipe to back up. Now this is going to take a little bit of time. Alright, so now we are going to actually install the ROM. So what you're gonna to want to do is wipe and we're going to wipe system twice had to actually read the I got the XDA thread pulled up over here you're going to wipe system twice so do this again this is my second time trying to attempt this so sorry if I failed again <laughs> we're going to wipe data factory reset twice and and there we go so we're going to go back now we're going to install and I am in my Skynote folder. So you guys remember when I showed you I made a Skynote folder just to make my life easier. Well, I am in that folder. Now what we are going to want to do is install the actual base ROM, which is this right here, the AT&T Skynote 8. And we are going to swipe to install. Now this is going to take, I don't know, about a minute or two tops so I will be back when this is done installing all right and that is done so what we are going to want to do is hit the little back arrow and now we are going to want to find the ATT Skyno update 8.2 and this will update that ROM because the update is not the full ROM so this will update us to 8.2 which doesn't take long at all so once we are done flashing the base ROM which we just did and then we flash the update, which we just did again. We're going to flash all of our add-ons. So you see I have the ATT Skyno AOSP Blue Holo MMS.zip. So now if you want to, you can go to add more zips. And you can add all the zips you want. Oops, didn't mean to do that. You can add all the zips you want. But I'm going to flash them one at a time so that I, I know what I'm flashing. So I want the MMS. I want circle battery or honeycomb battery I'm gonna go with circle okay I'm gonna go back I do want the lightsaber sounds because they're awesome who wouldn't now I want if if I flash the transparent status bar mod will it erase my other mods I'm not sure so I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to go down to center clock. Well, let me do the status bar now. Let me go back and then let me reflash my battery mod. And then let me flash my clock. So, so that way I know that they're on top, I guess so you would call that. And then what else? I think I flashed everything. <laughs> There's so many mods, I'm sorry. Okay. S voice. I want S voice. So I'm going to flash and now we're going to reboot. <laughs> kind of reboot and hope for the best right now. Because this is my first time installing this ROM with like all those mods attached to it. If, if this boot loops or this just breaks my phone, I honestly would not be surprised. Because I'm not sure the order. It doesn't say what order you flash them in. So. Again, I'll post a link to the XDA thread where you'll look at all the, you know, add-ons and whatnot. And it, it doesn't say. It doesn't say, hey, flash this first, flash this before that. But just a few quick features, I guess, I'll run through. This does come with Pi. It has the LMT launcher thing with Pi included. So it's a custom app in the app drawer. I don't use Pi, so I'm not going to be using it, but I'm just going to show you guys that it does work. You have the custom lock screens, you have the AOSP lock screen, you got the custom colors on the touch whiz. You had the 4.2 MMS that you've seen I just flashed, the 4.2 camera, the 4.2 keyboard. So if they're going to add all that, why not just throw 4.2 on here? <laughs> but it's just my opinion. See the lights did light up, I just felt the vibration. 
This Galaxy Note 2 just powers through installations. Now your status bar will be black until you get like a text message. So skip, skip. Did I hit skip on? Yes, I did. You see how it's black at the top? So we're gonna wait for someone to text me or I don't have my T-Mobile phone to text me, so hopefully someone texts me. But let's just go into the apps and let's see. So we do have the 4.2 camera. Uh, no thanks. So uh, I like how this, the 4.2 camera on TouchWiz actually comes with Photosphere and the 4.2 camera on a 4.2 ROM does not. It's kind of funny and ironic. Um, Kia, Kia Matra? What is this? I don't know what this is. Audio, video, photo, what is this? I'm gonna uninstall that because I don't like it. Earth, bloatware, gonna uninstall it. You do have the 4.2 gallery because you kind of have to have that in order to view. So you have to have that in order to view the photo spears and stuff like that. You do have Google Now, Google Plus, Gtalk enabler. I hit it, I heard the little bubbly thingy. Grant. Allow. Sure. Settings up. Google Talk works for me anyways on LTE, so what? Ink color changer. Show ink effect. Select your ink color. Oh, wow, you can choose any color. I'm going with a bright red because I like red. So let's see. Leadroid settings. These are your toggles. So this is like a first look, I guess. So these are all of your custom toggles that you want. Again, I'll set those up later, you know, so not LMT, grant for super user. This is the pie that I was talking about. So you go through and set all those up. I'm not sure if you swipe in from the bottom. Gee, I think you got to set it up. I'm not sure. I'm used to pie just being on uh, carbon ROM. It's just, it was just there, so I'm not sure how to set that up. But let me text myself. Okay. God damn. No, T-Mobile number right there. Zero. Hi. There we go. Okay, now I get the text messages. Okay, thanks, whoever you are. But see, I don't, actually, I don't know if you can not see it. But you see, I have the center clock. I have my circle battery. I wish there was an AM, PM, but we do have the 4G LTE indicator. Can you, you can see that, right? There you go. So I have my circle battery with my dying battery and whatnot, but let's go back into apps. I think I covered it all. I like that you have torch in the pop-up browser, like not in the settings. So let's go to settings. Home screen. Not seeing anything. So yeah, I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary, so the rest of this must be default. Or excuse me, stock. But yeah, that's how you install SkyNote ROM on your AT&T Samsung Galaxy Note 2. If you guys want to see any more videos on this phone, the Galaxy S3, which I gave back to my mom, um, or any other phone that I own, just leave a comment below. Let me know what you want me to review. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, whatever you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next video.